Tips for maintaining the charger one. To keep the charger one in good condition, regularly tighten the screws. Keep it clean and dry. Ensure proper ventilation. Does Charger One have safety features? Absolutely. Charger One comes with protections for reverse polarity, overcurrent, short circuit, overvoltage, and undervoltage. Is it necessary to adjust settings when using Charger One with different power stations? Yes, adjust the charging voltage based on the power station. The default is 27 volt. Where should the charger one be placed in a car? Place it in the cabin or trunk. The cooling fan may produce noise. Is it necessary to install or hang the charger one as instructed? No, you can install it however you like, as long as there is enough space for ventilation. Can the charger one be installed without much car knowledge? Yes, installation is straightforward, especially with the help of our detailed instructional videos. The most challenging part might be routing the cable from the hood to the trunk. What vehicles are compatible with the Charger One? It works with vehicles that have 12 volt or 24 volt starter batteries. Why can't the Charger One connect to the Blue Eddy app after the engine is off? The Charger One is designed to automatically shut down 30 minutes after the engine is turned off. Why should the vehicle be started before using the Charger One? Starting the vehicle ensures the car battery maintains sufficient voltage, preventing excessive drain and extending the battery's lifespan. Can the Charger One cause damage to the power station? No, as long as the charging voltage is set correctly for your power station. What advantages does Charger One have over a cigarette lighter port? A cigarette lighter port provides around 100 watt with a 12 volt battery and 200 watt with a 24 volt battery. Charger One, however, delivers 560 watt, so it charges your power station much faster. Does the Charger One need to be manually turned off each time? No, the Charger One stays active for 30 minutes after the engine shuts off and can be controlled via the Blue Eddy app. After 30 minutes, you'll need to restart your engine to reactivate it. When the engine is running, Charger One remains on and can be managed via the app. Will using the Charger One affect the lifespan of the car battery? No, the Charger One monitors the car battery's voltage and adjusts its output accordingly. With proper maintenance, the car battery will last as long as expected. Does the Charger One affect fuel consumption? No. The Charger One uses excess power from the car's alternator to charge the power station without increasing fuel consumption. Why isn't the Charger One charging the power station while the car is running? Please follow these steps. Turn off the engine and check that all cables are properly connected and secure. Restart the engine and check Charger One's indicator. Refer to the user manual for guidance. If it still doesn't work, let the engine run longer to ensure the car battery is adequately charged, as Charger One won't function if the battery is too low. If the problem persists, contact Bluetti support for assistance. What power stations can the Charger One charge, and can it be used with third-party power stations? The Charger One can charge any power station or solar generator that is compatible with solar panels, provided it accepts 15 volt to 56 volt DC input and uses a charging cable with MC4 connectors.